I saw this. Uh, I didn't see it. I read the tweet. I was just busy, right? Like, but I haven't watched the actual tweet. So what did it say? Uh, it's essentially, it's like what everybody's always accused of. Like anytime somebody would come out against AF or even have something that was just neutral mm -hmm. uh, to say, or like some kind of, you know, observation, uh, they'd start digging up shit, anything they could to try to fucking smear and destroy them. Mm -hmm. um, and I, this is like an allegation that's always been out there. Like anytime anybody would want to, I mean, you remember when like you did your stream about power chat and shit. Yeah. Uh, like Simon and, and you know, Jaden and everybody kind of talked about like, oh yeah, if you leave AF, you're going to get fucked with. That, yes, yes, exactly. And it did happen to everyone. And that's just like out of the horse's mouth. But the funny thing is, it's like, we knew that. It's not like it was like, oh, man, no way. I have to re Well, this. and the funny thing is, like, what power do they even hold at this point? Like, go look at fucking, again, like, what do you got to be afraid of in AF? Wurzel Root with his 200 people watching right now? Yes. Beardson Beardley with exactly. 200 fucking watching? Or maybe maybe Paul Town's going to smoke some more meth and talk about fucking babies again on stream like he did you know? when he freaked out about Jaden. Yeah, uh, I guess they they used to have power. I mean, even I would even say back when we did our stream with uh, Jaden exposing everything, they still had some pull. But everything that's come out since then, and then also the other stuff like late night shows talking about them and da -da -da, all that stuff, they are nothing now. They isn't, are. Isn't isn't Nick Fuentes technically hiding an illegal immigrant? Didn't the guy that slept on uh, Dalton Coldfeather's uh, couch isn't he living with Nick right now in Chicago? Yeah, he's living. Uh, I think under because Nick, I think owns a. Uh, it's like a. Yeah, yeah. So America first, right? America first. America first. Got to get rid of those immigrants, except for the illegal ones that work for me or associate with me. <laughs> on my couch. Yeah. Like what the fuck, man? Buddy, come on. And we're going to take them seriously, but they're just a joke now. Any show that Nick's on, it's he's a joke. You, you, like you saw him freaking out on the chair, right? When he was like, he oh, jumped uh, on I, the I, chair. I, like, uh, I haven't really kept super close tabs on him. Like uh, the, the main thrust of the shit I saw, aside from like the Kanye and the Trump stuff, uh, was him like on Fresh and Fit or mm -hmm. him going on the, you know, yeah, it was a podcast where basically it was a bunch of chicks or a bunch of black dudes and they're all mm -hmm. just like giving them a side eye glance. Of like, why is this little freak here? Yeah. You know, why is who let the test tube baby in? Basically. Yeah. 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 No. It, yeah. It's a, he's a clown. He he's a joke. And the funny thing is, now he's not. I, I'm, I'm sure you've noticed he hasn't been invited to any of those shows recently, right? Well, fresh and fit. The day they had him on, they got demonetized. Like the next day, and then they made a fucking. They actually did a pre-show with nick i believe it was on it was like God, it, is, is anybody I remember, that nick fuentes associated with had a positive outcome did no Sneeko just get his shit rocked and oh. fucking you know <laughs> in fact sneeko recently i think i have it in the folders for the show i uh, will do tomorrow though but uh, uh the gist of it is sneeko basically like turned on nick today he goes he says this he goes kanye you know uh, put me back on your, on your, um, you know, on your roster there. I'm like one of the only people, you know, he's like, I'm the only person who hasn't turned on you. And everyone's just like, whoa, that is definitely a fucking jab at Nick. Because Nick has turned on Kanye and now he's like, no, right, fuck Nick. It's just me. I, I always had your back. Because ever since the AF pack, not the AF pack, it was like the, um, well, yeah, that Kanye shit has to burn so bad because Nick was such a fucking massive. You remember they were all massive fucking fan boys, right? Oh, yeah. Like, remember um, Beardson would, like, do streams where he'd talk about the newest fucking Yeezys he bought? Yes. <laughs> but, like, he did hours of content talking about his fucking sneakers because, oh, look, Kanye, I bought Kanye sneakers. Um, Nick wearing trash bags and shit and trying to wear gimp masks looking like Kanye. Like, that was their life for, like, a year before the Kanye shit. And Wait. then and then he gets his ass fired in a week. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was like those uh, strange streams from Kanye's uh, that like warehouse, which he didn't end up paying rent for, and he got like evicted. But but what happened was uh, uh, he he was making streams. He's like, guys, it's been fun. I've loved doing the show, but it's over. You know, I'm doing this now. He's like, I'll do a stream every now and then for you guys. I'll throw you a bone. Yeah, every Fuck once it. in a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight days later. 
Hi guys, he's back in the studio. <laughs> my per my personal opinion is, I think Kanye is screwed up as all his shit is. You know, when he's off his fucking meds. Uh, saw that clip of Nick Sissy throwing his sprite at the restaurant and was like, "Fire him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get rid of him, fire him. I can't have a man that throws a fucking uh, drink like a girl throws a softball. Get him out of here. I I remember we had a uh, like like that that stream was funny that because oh I remember what happened. Some random person went up and was like, you're a racist, da, da, da. And he was like freaking out. And then the person left and he threw the drink at those guys. Who yeah, were... no, he got, uh, he got fucked with. Somebody threw shit at him. Uh, they did a Kipper thing like they did to Sargon. Uh, and, but he, Nick waited for the two huge security guys to surround him. And then he threw his sprite like a little girl at Yeah, him. but he threw it at the wrong people. That sounds about right. He threw it at the wrong guys. <laughs> Yeah, see, Nick was doing that. Who's that YouTuber that has the security guards beat people up? Oh, he's a really obnoxious cunt. Oh my God, uh, fuck, uh, Jack Doherty. Jack. Doherty. Yeah, yeah. And so Nick was doing Doherty before Doherty was doing Doherty. Like, yeah. He, he had that set up. He was, here are my two huge black security guards. So let me sissy throw my sprite at your head. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but that didn't work out. I think Sneeko was there too. And Sneeko, when he saw Nick throw it. He like what? He like like ran outside. He was just. He's like, I don't know this guy. <laughs> He's like, you feel me? With me. <laughs> Sneeko, a literal cuck, was embarrassed and walked away because like, oh, that is too much, it's too embarrassing for me. Oh my god! Oh yeah, and yeah, Jack Doherty is being sued recently for for uh, that punch. That's the security, but he's so rich. That kid apparently owns like fifty-seven properties or some shit. Yeah, I'm sure it'll all work out well in the end. We'll see. Yeah, you'll be reading a TMZ article about his ass in about ten years. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, it's not gonna end. Yeah, it, it'll be like the um, uh, oh my god, was it Home Improvement? You know the older son on Home Improvement? Uh, oh yes. Oh my god, what happened with him again? Did he kill? Yeah, someone? he got he got he got arrested, but he looked like a homeless dude. He kept trying to explain to the cop how TMZ was gonna want the clip, and the cop thought, oh, this is just some psychopath. Uh, but he was like, he looks so fucked up. But I was like, where did this dude's money go? I swear he like uh, assaulted someone too or some shit. I forgot. I'm not even sure what he got arrested like, for. I just like called him in the crazy. squad car. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or uh, oh, and also um, the kid who played. Do you remember that? Uh, do you remember that that uh, soccer movie about kids? It was like uh, the Green Day, Green Green Field or something. I forgot well, what it's called. Okay. Well, Green Day is a band. No, it's called the the Big Green. <laughs> the Big Green. Yeah, right. that go. that kid came out like his fought he's just purely crackhead like fucking like a lot of these kids like a lot of them who made a bunch of money when they were younger just get fucked the yeah the big green that's it careful now if you start talking about kids getting fucked I'll oh no oh gonna shit time travel. <laughs> just gonna time travel right into the stream and we're gonna be in trouble buddy how did anyone see that clip of him saying that I'm gonna time travel, or I I could time travel and not go. Okay, well, he it's over. Time travel. He said he was fucking Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm prophetic. I time travel. I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> now let your son sleep over at my house, and we'll win the next election. <laughs> okay, okay, that sounds reasonable. Come on, son. We're going to Ollie's house. <laughs> The main kid from Sandlot got wrecked too. Yep, very, very true. Uh, yeah, no, I don't see any. I really think that like Nick Fuentes. I mean, if he's an asset, which he probably is, let's be honest. But that's gonna be his last career job. You know, like job like that. He he's fucked his. He has to be a VTuber now. He can't ever use his real name. Could you and imagine? Imagine what this is a fucking. Uh, would it just be a little cartoon puppet vomiting up McDonald's at the corner? Every five, <laughs> three seconds, no, with be... a widow peak that goes all the way back to the top of his skull. Yeah, no, he'd be a cat boy. He'd be like a like 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 a cat boy. <laughs> well, somebody needs to use an AI Nick Fuentes voice and make a VTuber of him, saying really effeminate gay shit and vomiting McDonald's nonstop. And then, we'll, yeah, and then so. we'll report it as if it's like, that's his new grip. That's him. That's him. That's yeah. Him. Like, that's you that's know, that's we're that's always that's honest that's on the Kino Casino. We never lie. Never exaggerate. We always say the full and honest truth. Uh, speaking of uh, Kino Casino, Rabbi Rubenstein has gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Gabe's henchman. 
uh, yeah, no, like, like Nick has to become a VTuber or something. There is no fucking way. There's no way he's going to fix Andy, his career. Andy, Andy. Yeah. Can we hit that goal? Can we hit it? Come can on, guys. Goal? Come on. Can we hit that goal? This ain't We're a free show. Dollars. 90% of the way there. Well, it's only been 10 hours. Can we hit that goal before midnight, Andy? Come on, guys. Ralph's watching. Remember, every sub makes a tear come out of Ralph's eye. It and makes it be counted, and then we'll play rap music, and we'll stand up. Casino Night Owl has gifted five subs. Plaked has gifted one sub. Let's fucking go. Be counted. We'll put mu a rap music on. We'll dance. We'll we'll, we'll sway. We're just, we're just being silly because you know he doesn't care about this. He doesn't care about the money, Andy. No, that's why he's on stream for twelve hours. Yeah, no, he doesn't care about the stream. He's doing it for the love of the game. Well, he really he... loves silently watching CNN for 12 hours. Oh, right? dude, doesn't... yeah, yeah, exactly. Yesterday, I did, did six hours without being monetized. I didn't give a fuck. But, just, you know. Just loving it, you know. Just, yeah, just uh, every day, all day, all day long. For the tortoise. Think... No, he, he, he even said when he was donated one time, he, he was like, guys, you understand that every dono saves me? Okay, that sounds like someone who needs donos. Let's be fucking. Well, <laughs> didn't he corrected us? Remember, it was sixty nine cents off every dollar. So if he's only let's say seventy percent, so is you know what he's doing is two fifty. Oh, what is his goal? Let me go check on Zuvrax channel. Two twenty five. <laughs> so two twenty five. Ten percent is twenty two. So sixty six out of it. So we'll just we'll we'll make it. He's basically making one hundred and seventy bucks a night for ten hours. For, yeah, ten to twelve hours. No, I would say minus taxes, but he he doesn't pay. His oh, he taxes. doesn't pay taxes, right? So let's be CJ Man has gifted five subs. Get heard. Let's fucking go. So Ralph is what you could call basically a fight for fifteen streamer. He's making fifteen <laughs> bucks an hour. So Ralph's making he's making California McDonald's wages. That's what Ralph is making oh. right now with his streaming career. Top of the sector. Well, I don't know if you if you were in at the very start of the show, but I was talking about how Gabe Hoffman, uh, how this all started, uh, like the the recent arc with Gabe, was Gabe, um, you know, he, he he was calculating. Oh no, he spoke to one of the baby mamas or something, and Ralph was, uh, he was only paid two hundred dollars. I like how you started that, like it was a surprise to the audience. A Jewish hedge fund manager was calculating money. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Surprise! Another tall tale. I've never heard such a thing before. <laughs> hey, the Jewish hedge fund manager is good with money. Oh, is he? Oh, it's, it's, it's tough. But he, uh, he, uh, he paid two hundred of his eight hundred dollars that he owed in child support this month, and he already owed seventeen hundred. In child support, that uh, like from back payments, and he's got to pay in four days eight hundred more dollars. So he's gonna be like about three k, and it's by the way ten k is when they start. Uh, it's a felony warrant. So if he doesn't hit that goal, hit he that goes goal to jail. Goal. Yeah. So he's now racing with the how much well, he owes. Do some, let, well, let's do some quick tour math. Let's if go, guys. Has, okay, so $170 a night, and he's streaming, let's say, 25 days out of the month, because he's not doing every every day. I mean, he's got to take a few days off to get drunk and shit himself. <laughs> or whatever, the fuck, whatever the fuck he's doing, I don't know. So we'll say it's like eh, $2,800, $2,900 a month. Yeah, so, I mean, okay. if he would have to work an entire month straight without spending the money on anything else just to get cut up in arrears. Oh, but then another month would hit. Yeah, then he'd be right back at the spot. So then he'd be 800, but it's like not including the tortas or anything like. And by the way, it's he's faking he's faking donos too. Like like after Gabe tweeted that out, Frank for thirty dollars on uh. Uh, what's it called? Cash App. Yeah. I'm sure Frank threw you 30 right after that. It's kind of sad, dude. And remember, he almost cried the other day, too. He was, like, actually almost in tears. It was... If I had his life, I would be, too. And that's coming from a dying man. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a little upset, too. 
I'd be like, why am I living in a metal shack eating tortoise? Jesus, kill me. Oh my god. And there's no hope. Like, he's burned the bridge. So right now, so obviously everyone is going after Rakata, right? Obviously. Uh, it's like the, the locale of the of the time right now. But he he sees Rakata is being shit on by a lot of people, right? Uh, it's a very sad situation. But Ralph is now trying, he's begging Rakata. He's like, these guys are attacking you. You got to like team up with me. He wants Rakata to team up with him. He even said there would be a show with Rakata and Dick Masterson. But they haven't shown up. And even Dick. With even, so even, even with all even this Nick, shit. Even Nick was like, Yeah, I mean, no. even, even, even with all the shit that's going on with Rakata and, you know, uh, Masterson's off doing his own thing. Sure. Like, both, both of those guys are still making money. They're still doing. They've got audiences. Yeah. I don't know. Why would they? Why would they need to associate with Ralph? That would be the worst thing they could do. <laughs> Unless they want to like do a, like a a zoo spectacle, you know what I mean? Like the old Howard Stern uh, shit, where he'd bring on like the fucking deformed people to laugh at. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he'd be the whack pack. Yeah, he has to be the whack yeah. pack. Well, I mean, maybe it would be a great idea for for Nick to bring on Ralph on his show. Because he'd be like, guys, I know it's bad lately. But it's but, not this But come bad. on. <laughs> come on. Look at this guy. This guy. Yo, I have to use the bathroom. Uh, can you refrain from saying the N-word? And... I'll, try, I'll try my best. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right. One second. Okay. Well, you heard him. He doesn't want me to use the N-word, so I won't. I'll just use the actual word itself. With the hard R. Now, a lot of people don't know this. But okay. Right next okay. To As I'm walking oh. away, I'm getting nervous because I can hear you scream hard R. No, it's fine, man. All right, all right. So a lot of people don't know this, but um, right next to his four refrigerators are two extra toilets. They shit where they ate. So Andy can hear everything that I'm saying right now. So he's going to try to take the world's quickest dump before I can get through every racial racial insult that's possible. Let's see. Let's see how that goes for him. Let's start with something that's that's a little nice, right? You're not going to get a lot of trouble talking about WAP Dagos, are you? Nobody here really cares about the fucking Italians. I mean, they beat their wives and their hairy motherfuckers and eat pizza all day, but Wap Dagos, nobody really cares. How about those Irish people, those bog trotting, potato farming, alcoholic, wife beating fucks? Is that okay, folks? Can we say that on kick? We're just working our way through. We're doing it slow. We're doing it slow before we get to the big boys where the things are going to get real bad. Oh, Andy, how quick can you poop? You know, right now, I imagine Ralph's probably got an erection because he's imagining chill, Andy chill, taking chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> Buddy. It's a fast I, crash. My, 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 well, I was taking a piss. My headphones are so loud, and I just hear you going, all right, let's start with uh, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, and, um, no, it's, uh, Okay, like, what were we talking about? I don't even know. Talking about Italians. Italians. <laughs> Fucking goddamn Italians. Yeah, no, Nick should bring on, uh, it should be Feaser, Nick, Riccada, and Ralph. That would be a great trio, I think. Well, I, I thought um, RPG, like, hasn't he, he quit, right? Straight, or is he coming back? I don't know what he's doing. No, he quit. He sold his chair and his microphone. So... so well, yeah, I, I thought like wasn't he attempting to get back on cozy, or was that just were people memeing that? No, so he was attempting to to go back on cozy, right? Um, and so what happened was, remember Nick's big one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars stream? He uh he, he had a donation that went oh RPG. And oh, everybody wanted to be his fucking friend then, did they? Well, yeah, they saw uh, they all suddenly wanted to be his friend. Yep, yep. And he see, was Nick, see Nick how honest I am. I still think you're a fucking tart. <laughs> Even after you made 125. Yeah, same. Game. Like fuck that shit. Wow. Oh, and and by the way, it's so funny. Like like Ralph uh, crawled back after that 120 thousand dollar thing, and an RPG and all that stuff. But it's like it's not your money. What the fuck? Like is that like to you? It's like oh my god, he's making a lot of money. Okay, well, it's not yours. His fans don't like you. You're not going to make the money <laughs> off of this shit. Why the fuck would you grovel for someone who makes tons of money? That's very cringe, in my opinion. Uh, and then, okay, so hang on. So, 
So yeah, wait a minute. You know, how the fuck does Ralph get off saying shit about like your game hop this bitch? Because he gives you 20 bucks in a super chat here and there. Yeah. When he was basically willing to suck Nick Fuentes' cock after seeing the the potential to make a few dollars. He didn't even get money from Nick, but he yeah. saw that money coming in. Great point. Yes. Listen, at least Gabe throws us a 20 once in a while, okay? Fucking Nick doesn't do shit. And he goes, like, the potential of money. The, it's the, even the potential of money. He's like, yeah, everything I said, I take it back, you fucking bitch. Why? I've, I've still, by the way, got Cozy Open in a tab. Um, Same here. Four, 400 viewers. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Rizzo. Oh, Rizzo is hitting numbers, 247. Yeah, th- you're 300%. Yeah, you're three times their numbers. Yeah. Let's fucking go, chat. Let's, Remember to let's follow. See, I'm going to. I'm going to open up Wurzel Root just to see what's his dono total look like. Yeah. yeah. So he's oh, been wow. going for an hour. He's made 260 bucks. God damn, oh. Ralph. Even the, the worst of the worst on Cozy's lap. Oh, you man. Here, here, I'll that open should it. be your money. Look at his mustache, Ralph. This looks two, disgusting. How two, is this man making $260? 267 And how many hours did he go for? How many hours? Uh, it's just to say on the bottom right there. Is he having like an acne outbreak? What is going on? Yeah, yeah, I saw like uh, this browser's all fucked. What the hell? Uh, yeah, fucking. Um, I think he's what three hours, maybe two hours, three hours. Well, let's see. Politically provoked. What are they doing? Aside from boring the audience with ninety six dollars, nobody's <laughs> <laughs> giving them shit. Oh my god, you're not. Yeah, they're three hours into this. Holy fuck, time to quit the fucking career. It's time. Like, listen, I love streaming, but when, like, it's your main job, you can't be, like, streaming for 10 hours a day. Can somebody explain why does politically provoked have shit? Like, they call it Zog Slop Coffee Shop. Like, I, I, you know, all of this. Weren't they the ones that tried to get all the January 6th people arrested? Yes. Yes. What's her name? Brittany? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to be Antifa. Yeah, how the she, fuck? She was literally really nice. Fun. Nice choice, Nick. We hate women, right, Mister Incel? And then you let on the chick that tried to get all the J6ers arrested, sending me mixed messages here. Wait a second. Hang on, that, that sketch. Now that you bring that up, <laughs> now that you bring it up like that, what the fuck? Like that's insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a little weird. It's a bit strange, a little counterintuitive to the wait, message I keep hearing. Wait, wait, wait. So she tries to get all your people arrested, and some do get arrested. You're seen on the steps telling everyone to break the barriers and disregard the police and disregard the, the barriers and go in. And then you hire her for your show, and she becomes a Jew-hating woman on a snap of a... Wait a second. Well, I mean, hey, that's big money. $96 is $96. 96 fucking smackaroos. That's fucked, man. That is insane. Oh, my God. Guys. What happened? I I, I hope you're all really fucking excited. Big breaking news. Okay. The bonus Saturday Super Fund is at $232. We have hit the goal. Let's fucking go. Oh, we have hit that goal. Andy, can you play me? The most cliche black rap music oh, possible. Let's see if we can get Piggy to dance for us. He's I, hit that goal. I got you. I got you. Um, oh, let... you know what? Actually, no, no, no. I've got the perfect song. Can you give me one second to find it for you? Yeah, yeah. Do it up. I think Ralph will appreciate the lyrics of this one. Uh, let's fucking <laughs> He's do gonna it. He's going to really like this one. Uh, it's right up his alley. Fits with the themes we've been talking about tonight. Let's fucking go. Let us do this. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's go. I... Uh, not that one. Okay, I'm gonna. I just let me make sure I got the right URL. America no dinner for you. No, fu- no, no fucking dinner. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I turned it up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope did he dance for us? No, no. He just looks like he's gonna uh, punch himself. Oh, <laughs> no. he, he's, he's mad. Sorry, Ralph. I think he's maybe a little upset. Sorry, Ralph. We mock the goal. We shouldn't have mocked the goal. It's a sacred fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's God's plan. That goal is God's plan, right? I don't know. Like, <laughs> imagine your content 
is just watching other people make fun of you for hours. Like, that's nuts to me. Like, okay, if you go after me, have fun or whatever, I'm gonna go play games, hang out with my girl, fucking go fucking eat some food, you know, uh, edit some videos for YouTube, work on some shit, you know, jack off, blow jack. Well, I mean, I, I, I hope he's happy. Like, uh, you know, I think he would appreciate thug loving. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, he wants, uh, you know, he wants to, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, we have Steven, uh, Steven for five, I thank you for that, guys, thank you so much for that, I can't believe, um, that he just sat here watching this, and by the way, I hear that most of the, um, donos were from the A-logs, so, it's tough. I, I, oh, I mean, I know we've always got Ada Wolf, who always <laughs> donate, <laughs> okay. at least $101 donations every show. Then you've got like two other people to throw a ten dollar donation to make them wigger wiggle because they think it's funny. They like seeing those titties jiggle. <laughs> and then you've got uh, the fake donos that roll in there occasionally. You know the random fifty dollar one that just says "I love you." You know nothing else, or there's no <laughs> message attached, or it's just you know random shit. Anonymous for fifty dollars. You know when ninety seven percent of your your donos are anonymous, it's bad. It's going, it's going really well. Bad. No, let's let's we've got to be true and honest here. Ninety percent of the donos are anal wolf, <laughs> and the other ten percent are the anonymous ones. <laughs> oh, they're calling you a low volume. Scheme. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, let me uh, see if I get in here. Yeah, yeah, guys, is this gonna be? Uh, why, why the fuck is it doing that? That's fucking annoying. It's um, those, those Tekken macros. No, I swear, dude. To be fair, though, I, I had practiced so hard at Tekken, right? So that... did you just go into the volume setting for mute and turn it up? No. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm fucking certain you just did that. No. Yes, you went fucking mute. No, you I went chose off. the option that said no, no, right, look, mute it's auxiliary. Mike. No, it's Mike. That's Mike. Oh, that, oh, Mike. That's, I thought that, that's I Mike. Thought that fucking mute. No, like, no, 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 oh, dude. No, 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 no. I was adding decibels to it there, see? Test, oh, people, there. In the, people in your chat are saying it sounds like you're in another room. That's true. He's in the bathroom right now still taking that dump. Is it? Is it like, wait, no. Stop, stop, guys. Stop. Oh, it's good. It's good. Well, yeah, I'm going old school Mike here. See, I was trying to think. Here's the whole thing. is I think it's really funny that I can just fire up a stream. Literally have my OBS, no camera. It's just a mess. It's just like a shitty and still rape Ralph's views. You know, like that's funny to me that I called it Kumite 2. Um, it's just really funny. Yeah, we're doing the, the boomer style. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the uh, the fucking Tekken thing, I, I've, I've chilled out playing on that for a bit. I was literally practicing like my life depended on it you, you know i forgot something we got so excited celebrating hitting that goal but we forgot that now in the tradition of ralph after he's hit the goal which should extend his show for another 18 hours he will now find an excuse to run away yeah <laughs> so the question to ask your chat andy is how long until ralph leaves his stream he's hit the goal okay will he stay for 10 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes what kind of day is today going to be for his extra super long bonus show wait what what is his a goal called? And by uh, his, the way, his bonus Saturday fund. Bonus Saturday fund. So, and by the way, I can't open up his stream or anything. He'll say the n word. Super Rock was fucking banned when he opened up the stream. Uh, I'm like laughing at him. Oh, Andy, I've already said that so many times. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know what you're worried about. Jim, did you hear my conversation Jim? about the Italians? <laughs> Jim. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, listen, kick, I wasn't here. So illegally, I'm not required to care. Sorry. All right. Uh, well, I mean, you should. I wrote him an email cool. with a direct link. I was like, come listen to what I'm saying. No, chill, chill. I was <laughs> like, hey, hey, I do what I want. Fuck you. Here's the link. <laughs> uh, this is Andy Worski, bitch. <laughs> it's, it's the bonus. Bonus Saturday. So bonus would imply... Wait, wait, is it called just the, because he doesn't stream on Saturdays. Is it just called bonus Saturday because he is doing a stream on Saturday? Well, maybe it's like, 
I don't know. That's like this is like a philosophical. <laughs> A bonus Saturday fund. So he hit the goal on his bonus Saturday fund after eight and a half hours, nine hours. So, I, I mean, maybe an extra 10 minutes. I don't know. Maybe we'll get the, hey, guys, um, thanks for hitting the goal. I'm going to go get drunk at a beach now goal. Or, hey, guys, yeah. let me put on, uh, what was that fucking TV show he watched for like five hours? Or maybe it'll be another CNN segment. Or he'll go feed him. Maybe we'll get another torta in the restaurant uh, segment. Super excited. Yeah. Watching him <laughs> Mukbang oh. Ralph. As he shovels down those tortas. <laughs> God bless the gold torta. No. Oh, I miss those streams. I miss those. Um, uh, oh, by the way, someone mentioned this. And it's very true. Uh, no, uh, you wouldn't. Like, I know you were like joking around. You didn't email a kick. You know who did? Kong. Uh, what do you email to get about us flagged. what? To get us flagged. He brought up the Instagram when we shut down the, like, the pedal stream. He's like, Andy was a pedal at kick. And he was mad. And he was actually trying to get me and Ashton deplatformed two days ago. How is this shit between you guys and Kong escalated to this point? What? I don't what? know. I what don't is, know. What's, what's going on between your little, we your called little them war? Poor. We called them poor. He tried flagging us and getting us deleted off kick. Didn't work, obviously. Kick loves us. He's oh, a well, yeah, that goes back shit. to because you're making retarded money. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. He's he's mad that about uh, the amount of money we're making. And he uh he, he was seething about us, so we made fun of him again, and then he's just like, ah, kick. Da, da, da. What a piece of shit. Fuck him. Anyway, with uh, uh Ralph, the, the one streams uh, I really miss these streams. Now, I know his family is safe. Like, you know, Pansu and Rosie are safe. So, Ralph, if you're hearing this, you're stream sniping. Remember Pansu? Remember Rosie? But remember when he would do those fucking beach streams? with Where he yes, would buy the... seven margaritas? And you hear <laughs> Rosie crying? <laughs> No, I might. Yeah, those are always uh, spectacular. I like the one where he ordered fancy Mexican water. <laughs> he went to a restaurant, <laughs> ordered fa fancy Mexican water and like two tortas and eight drinks. It was like a hundred bucks. And then he tipped the waiter nothing. And the waiter like gave him a look like, I will beat you in the alley. And so he's like, Oh, well, man, let me give you a tip then, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm a big American dollar, dude. Oh, big fucking real American bucks. Yo, the, the fucking the stream. So, so he's got. He's got Pansu. Okay, the Pansu and Rosie are there. I think it was that stream, actually. And there's a girl at the bar, and he's got it zoomed in. He has the stream zoomed in to her ass. And then he zooms it out back, to, and it's Pansu and, and Rosie are framing the girl. So he's got it zoomed And Pansu thought that he was filming her. <laughs> lovely, lovely. It's just this chick's ass. He, he, he goes, mm, yeah, babe. Mm. And then he zooms it out, and he's like, Pansu smiling, and Rosie right there being fat. Oh, my God. You know, what I don't get is, like, if so he's going to do, like, these beach streams and shit, why doesn't he just do IRL stuff around the streets of fucking Merida, wherever the fuck he, he is? He needs to. Ralph, that's your, that's the only way Ralph will save it, is if he does, if he watches IRL, bro, everyone's going to be watching him. It'll be tweeted out constantly. Uh, he would have an there would be so many A-log donations trying to get him shot by the cartels, but at least he'd be making money. Yeah, he'd make it and raise the, the TTS from $1, Ralph. Imagine doing TTS. Your show's interrupted for a buck. You have fucking, <laughs> you have Adolf Wolf with a bag of change. And he's tossing it to stop the show. Adolf Wolf with his nonstop $1 donations. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think um the mind of a of a Ralph fan actually works? You know, wouldn't you be like I don't think it works? That's how he became one. <laughs> <laughs> but like the humiliation at one at what point do you see Ralph with four people in chat? And then you see this stream and go, you know what? Like, I should switch sides. You know, like I should, you know, you would think you'd go, you know what? Listen, Ralph, I loved you, but I, I, I can't do this anymore. Well, the crazy fucking thing is like Su Suvarok's chat's got like 40 
people, you know, consistently kind of watching and stuff throughout the day. Let's go. Um, and, you know, Ralph is sitting two, three hundred, but like Super Axe chat moves so much faster. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it's crazy. Well, the numbers, like the 300, and, and by the way, have you noticed it's always at like 303 or 321? Like, like Aston and I, right? Our, our numbers fluctuate, like depending on the topic. You know, sure. when we do like a more like unknown person, you'll see the, the all the viewers start to drop. You know, uh, when we do some uh, like Mick Ricada or Ralph, it'd be like eighteen hundred, two thousand. Okay, we're now doing Bossman Jack. It goes to fourteen hundred. Like you could see what people are interested in and what they aren't. And right, and we do like a variety of subjects, and we don't stick to only one subject, and we're fine with the fluctuations. With Ralph, it's always three hundred and like twenty. There's no fluctuation. There's barely any fluctuation. There's like no like maybe at the end of the night it will go to like two hundred, but like throughout the whole day it's just three hundred. It's just like holds constant. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how he's going to dig his way back. I, I don't think he can. I think it's it's like I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. I, I legitimately don't like I, I you know <laughs> I might I like what job are you going to work after this man like you've you've burnt it you've burnt it to the ground so thoroughly I don't know what you're going to do and and I, uh, how, what do you I, like are you going to live in Mexico the rest of your life you've got to come back to the U.S. eventually yeah like uh, is he a permanent residence there a permanent I think residence? he said he's like I, I I don't know what it is he's got temporary residence or resident visa or some some shit but that runs out um, though. Yeah, unless he marries a Mexican girl, oh. and they, you know, exchange green cards. One gets a U.S. one, one gets a Mexican one. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> so I, you know, I, I don't know, but like, where, where are you going to be in two years? Someone said he should rob a bank. I think that's like, <laughs> I think. I mean, where do you go? No, but but the thing is too, it's also when you hit ten thousand dollars in in back child support. I searched this uh, when. Uh, Gabe had had posted his tweet, but you get like a felony arrest is start like, like a warrant for your arrest for a felony is is issued instantly. Well, uh, he'll be fine. He's got Papa's ring worth uh, three hundred eighty five thousand dollars. Remember with those uh, super diamonds. It's true. That he must be panicking. Like Ralph, I know you're watching this. We're making fun of you. You must be fucking shitting yourself daily. Like you're <laughs> no, no every shit. every waking moment is just. Like a nightmare. You know those nightmares you wake up and you go, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God I'm awake. That was fucking like, I thought, it, like, oh, my God, that was horrible. Well, what's the release mechanism? Like, what, what is his venting? Like, so uh, imagine, like, you're in a foreign country because you fuck things up spectacularly. You're doing a job that has diminishing returns and gets worse every month that goes on. Mm -hmm. And you know that, like, a dark future's ahead. So you're working 12 hours a day doing this and then you turn the stream off right you you get done working and you have no friends or family no real hobbies no real property you own to take your mind off of shit yeah and so you're stuck in this little metal shack oh that's so bleak but you're stuck in this little metal shack <laughs> oh, and you've got to you've got to think like i've got a few hours before i can go to sleep and then i gotta wake up and do it again and beg for the bare minimum so i can get caught up on bills that i owe so they don't extradite me to put me in prison. Oh my god! Do you know what that reminds me of? Do you ever watch a uh, uh, a Black Mirror? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I remember that episode where I think it was John Hamm was in it, uh, Black Christmas, and they make a double of his like psyche to put him in like a like. So so he. Um, it's a digital copy of him, and he's in like prison. Oh yeah, they put it. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. But then at the end, they raise it to like thirty years. No, no, they put him in. Uh, when the guy walks out, it was like uh, for the amount of time that was gonna pass. Is yeah. That the one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was like a trillion years. Oh, a trillion. Yeah. So it's like, like yeah, yeah. like infinite. Like he's infinitely, because he's like, oh, I'll, I'll oh, keep I... it on for the weekend or whatever, or for yeah. Christmas break, and every one second's like a month. And they're gone for Christmas break. So it's just like an infinite. That's what Ralph is in right now. He's in that like that box. It's just a non never ending hell. Uh, yeah, it's 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 fucking bleak. And you can sing the songs about how great of a tourist area the Yucatan and Merida or whatever the fuck it is. is. Yeah. And I'm sure it's nice. I'm sure there are nice areas down yeah, there. Of course. Yeah. 
but you're not living a middle class life there. Yeah. All right. You know, you're just not. Um, maybe with the amount of money you're making right now, you could be living semi decently in a place like Vietnam or Thailand, but I don't think they'd let you in. No, they wouldn't. They would not let him in. Like, dude, and and even like, the A logs are brutal to him. He's been brutal to people, so he deserves it. So fuck him. But like, anywhere he would move, he moves to, it's people try to find him and fuck with him, and he's so vengeful that he like. I dare you to find me. And then everyone goes, okay. And it's like, I always just see it in the, like Twitter two days later. It's like, <laughs> he lives right here. And you're like, okay, like Ralph, stop challenging people. The fucking challenge, the fucking, um, yeah, I don't get that either. You. If, if you're going to like, you know, secretly try to, um, abscond <laughs> somewhere else, like just keep your mouth shut, man. Why are you taunting them? Cause you know, they're just going to waste their fucking time finding you. And I, I don't, at this point, I don't even think like, like he's I, I i it's just so bleak it's so fucking bleak like if i if i had ralph's life i don't know what the fuck oh, i man. It, it's so dark like how do you get out of it yeah matt like okay i'll even tell you this so after the whole a mame and me being retarded and on drugs and all that stuff when i came back to canada right i th i thought I, like it was over like i was like it's done like there's no way i'll make it back i'll never you know, and then, um, you know, I fucking started doing Uber, right? And then, uh, like, when Uber, um, when COVID hit, I started to, like... Yeah, but, see, that's a... Even interrupt you, but that's a crazy thing. Is like, you had a job you could jump into. True, yeah. What is he going to do? Yeah, no, that's true. Drug, oh. drive an Uber? Oh, my God. Do you know? This is so... This was so embarrassing. I did Uber for seven months. So I pick some guy up from the bar in Toronto, right? And then the guy's over driving, and he goes, wait. Cause I, I always talk to everyone, right? I'm, I'm a very talkative person. He's like, are you Andy Warski? And I'm like, oh, fuck. No, like, <laughs> like, he's like, I used to watch you on Kumite. I'm not even kidding. This happened. And it was like my biggest nightmare. And I'm like, I, I, yeah. used, I used to be such a fan. Now you drive me around, bitch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. I was so, it, he was like, you know, that show was so grimy. I didn't tell anyone I watched it. I was embarrassed to tell people I watched it. I'm like, cool, man. <laughs> That's super neato, dude. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, cool. I, the, the, he hops up, can you give me five stars, bud? Can you give me the thumbs up? <laughs> Hey, here's a tip, Andy. Fuck yourself. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. I swear it was so funny. He's like, so what are you doing now? And I'm like, this? Like, what do you mean? What am I doing now? Like, what bro. are you doing? Oh, poverty. I'm doing poverty. Well. I'm, so. I'm living with my parents. I'm 35, three years old. I fucked up my entire <laughs> life. Everyone on the internet hates me. And I'm driving you from the bar home. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, super. So everything's working out. Fucking everything's coming up roses over here. <laughs> and the way he goes, oh man, you're like he said section of the. He didn't say sector. This is before Ralph, uh, you know, created the fucking sector uh, word. But um, yeah, he was like your section of the internet was the worst, but it was so like I had to watch it. I'm like, thanks. Like yeah, so he, I, I such feel... a piece of shit. Thanks for the ride, asshole. Yeah. yeah, and and he was fucking and he was drunk as fuck. So he didn't even know that he was being like insulting, which made it even worse because it had to be nice. <laughs> oh, dude, that was fucking. Brutal. I wonder if they, I mean because oh, brutal. Uh, brutal. That was brutal. Yeah, because Muddy Matt did uh, DoorDash. You know, um, I wonder if he ever had that happen where somebody's like, "Oh, I know who you are." See, oh, they're like no tip for the Boulder King, something like that. Went on. <laughs> Wait a second, you flagged people. <laughs> Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I think he's still doing that now. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's happy though. He seems happy. That's good for him. Oh no, he, yeah. From what I understand, he's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah he's got yeah, he's he's a kid and his wife and his house, and he's 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 sitting nice, uh, doing whatever he's doing. But um, uh, yeah, like. Uh, you doing Uber or Matt doing DoorDash or somebody just walking into even like, you know, a, a service job or whatever it is. Mm. Like, I can't imagine Ralph doing that. No. His personality is too abrasive. Mm -hmm. His his addictions are too strong. 
like he's he's so fucked. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what? I'll say this about Uber. I didn't enjoy doing Uber Eats, but Uber itself was actually pretty fun. It was like wild nights. You pick up some people and hear crazy stories. So I had some like fun, and you could put on like podcast. I had my Nintendo Switch in the in the fucking glove box. So I had to park and play while I wait for the next ride. All that stuff. So it was it was okay, but obviously I was like, oh man, I wish I never fucked up and all this stuff. Can you imagine the job interviews where he tries to argue with the people? Like, no, no, I really did graduate college. I just didn't pay for my degree papers. <laughs> hire me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But didn't he say? Like, he was fighting with someone about having his degree. And he's like, why did I have to pay for it? Like, what, to put it on my wall? It's like, no, to show people, you fucking retard. That you fucking no, no, I it. really do have my political science degree. Fuck you, And it was 50, fish. It was 50 bucks. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't like an unreachable... It wasn't like an unreachable amount of money. You know what I mean? It oh was my God. 50 it fucking dollars what if he's like stuck working at the tortoise shop for food every day like what if that's how they pay him in tortoise oh that, that, my that's his God. life <laughs> he's got to cook for mexican people but that's like i swear to god that's exactly how i pictured it you know sometimes i'll uh i'll think of like oh my god like like how will ralph get out of this one when i'm doing like some clips or something and then i had this thought in my head he has to like live Basically, like, I picture him as, like, a fisherman, but, like, the guy who cleans the boat or helps in the warehouse. And he's it's all under the table money, right? There's nothing, like, in a bank account. It's all... Well, he'd love that. No taxes. It, yeah, yeah. It has to all be, like, in this pocket. No one, ha no one can know how to speak English either. Because the moment <laughs> anyone talks English and searches his name, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? Even if you want to I'll probably tell people he's uh, what's his fucking brother? He'll probably tell him he's uh, Evan. He'll be like, no, I'm Evan. <laughs> yeah, he'll have to change his name. He has to be like Dexter when he became like a lumberjack. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. That's man. the only way. That's how like I picture that's the only way because. Man, it, and I'm not even I'm not even fucking around. Like I can picture some of the the Spurgs that have been like even on Cozy, right? That have done stupid shit. Like I can picture them, you know, a year or two, uh, being able to like reintegrate. I guess. Yeah. You know, like uh, if people maybe will once in a while say, "Hey, aren't you dancing Dalton, the Michael Jackson impersonator?" But for the most part, he'll be okay. Yeah. Or Walter Ruth, they'll be like, "Oh, you're that fat guy," you know, or something like that. But, like, for Ralph, it's just so fucked. I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, man. And by the way, so we're just thinking about him getting a job, right? And being right. able to be hireable. Okay, what job can you get that will get you out of your student debt, your fucking child support, to pay off that fucking dumbass, like, truck you bought for 50K, and then the interest will even higher? Like, how do you... Like what? So even if he say he was hired at Burger King, it still won't do shit. He's still well, gonna yeah, be it, fucking like, like it's like now he has to have a job that makes at least sixty k a year to fucking keep above water with all these debts. Well, yeah, I mean if you factor in like the child support stuff and you know what it's like eight hundred bucks and then whatever the next one is if he gets the next one maybe it's the same. Let's say it's even just the same thing, another eight hundred bucks. Uh, and then the truck payment is what six or seven? I mean, just those alone, you're looking at like twenty three hundred dollars a month just for the truck and two child support payments. Then throw in the rent four hundred. Throw in yeah. Well, I'm, I'm talking like in a like he's come back to America and is working. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I full time saying. at Burger King. I see. Yeah. And uh, I I and that's so the hireable portion is like okay yeah is he hireable no but even if he was like. It would have to be basically a job where the fucking people just don't fucking care. I love somebody in your chat's like, he can work at Home Depot. Dude, have, okay. What are you uh, dad, no, 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 dad, come. Have you seen him try to fix his roadcaster? Do you think this fucker <laughs> is going to be able to advise you on a home improvement project? He probably doesn't know what a hammer looks like. <laughs> you mentioned a screwdriver. He's going to think it's a fucking alcoholic drink. He's not going to be able to help you at Home Depot. He's never going to get a job there. Oh, no. Oh, man. That's, yeah, no, there's no way. 
There's no fucking way. Like, I, I even see like people make jokes about Feaser, but like, I'm sure. I mean, he. I, I think he could get a job. Can he? Chat press one if Feaser can get a job. Oh, press he, he, he could get hired. Everybody could get. It's you know. It's just. It's not even Ralph's reputation. It's just his personality. What oh, the fuck is he gonna do? Yeah. Remove the fucking Wikipedia. Remove everything he's ever done. Remove the videos. Remove the A logs. Remove all that stuff. The moment the boss is like, hey, can you uh, mop the bathroom? What do you mean I gotta mop the bathroom? How about you suck my dick, faggot? And all it's gonna take, <laughs> all it's gonna take for that job security to go away is for one person to. You think it was embarrassing with the, uh, the dude at the Uber? Imagine somebody oinks behind him. <laughs> or somebody somebody oh. says bish while he's working. And he's gonna fucking tard rage out on them in the middle of the fucking Walmart greeting that he's giving. Oh 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 we have a question for you, Jim. Uh sure. Ralph wants oh it's for me. Ralph wants to know how many shekels you paid Daddy Jim. How much did I pay you today? Like probably ten, fifteen. Oh, five thousands, yeah. Twenty thousand. No, twenty thousand, yeah, remember? Yeah. Exactly twenty thousand dollars. It was twenty K, Ralph. Twenty K for us to have a chat here. Yeah, it's twenty thousand dollars exactly, and that's been you know forwarded from your um, accountant, Gabe Hoffman. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, from exactly. Your offshore, well, from Gabe, your offshore Israeli uh, bank account. Well, Gabe Hoffman called you, and he's like, "Hey, listen, Andy started this new channel. We need it to blow up a little bit. Can you talk to him for a few hours? You know, we'll send you a check in the mail." You were like, "All right, that's that's what happened, Ralph." Yeah, you know, I mean, I was like, "Hey, um, let me make all this fantastic money." Uh, just uh. Just dunking on uh, this dude living in a shack in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, because cause the Jews, without this stream, the Jews would be fucked. They'd be done. They'd be done. The like, Jews seriously, lost, buddy. the Jews would have no fucking chance in, ha in hell. See, you are, I, I'll tell you all the truth. Ashton's actually with Gabe Hoffman right now. Are they making passionate love? No, no. They're setting up the next business plan. Oh, no. Somebody clip that. Andy just let it slip. For They're the next... with each other. You know what he means. Yeah, yeah. No, they are having gay J sex. That's what's actually no. happening. Is this next to the third toilet or the fifth uh, refrigerator? <laughs> no, it's the fourth refrigerator. It's like the black one. Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, there we go. The black one, of course. Yeah, the black refrigerator. It's in the green room. Um, no, uh, I love how it's like, right, Ralph has, he hears all this stuff we say, which is all true, by the way, like, not the Ashton and Gabe thing. Stop it. Don't clip Andy that. just said it's no, all true. No, clip no, those together and no, put them together. No, no, stop, stop it. goes it. to Mazzon, honey. Not, stop it. Chat, do not do that. Do not do that, please. Everything we've said today is all true. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, hang on. No, about Ralph. About Ralph. Uh, can we clip it? Very funny. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, so, but it's so funny how, how Ralph has to, like, like, his brain, right? He's like, fuck. I'm watching them say all this shit. It's making me die inside. I know it's all fucking true. They don't give a fuck what I'm saying. Okay, what's the cope? Hey, Andy, how much you pay Jim? Like, it's just like, where does this come from? <laughs> you know, I, I've, I, I, throughout the last seven fucking years when I've gone on streams, I went on the Kumite, I went on your stream, I went on Ralph's stream a bunch of times. Yeah. I've never been paid once. Yeah. yeah. Not <laughs> once. I go on a stream because I feel like going on a stream. That's all there is to it. Same here. Uh, even when I was on Kumite, I wasn't paid. I wasn't paid until it was on my channel and we split it. And even then... That's when it was the end of the Kumite, and it was like fucking making no fucking money, right? Um, and now you're on the Kumite too. It's all full circle. Yeah, I'm on the second Kumite, yeah. <laughs> this is Kumite. <laughs> oh man, you know this burns the ass of Tonka if he ever sees this, huh? <laughs> I don't even. I I have no idea like what Tonka's been up to. Like I know he tried going back doing the wrestling stuff for a while, but like if he's faded completely or, oh no, wasn't he actually wrestling with um? Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling. Yeah, and they and then he also like remember this is the like back when he didn't show up for the fucking fight. He, he had like lost his reputation, all that stuff. And um he made that YouTube belt. Do you remember that? 
And what is it with this obsession with wrestling and making your own belts and trophies and shit? It's infected, <laughs> it's infected the sector. I don't understand what the fuck it is. It's so gay, dude. How are, how are these motherfuckers going to give me shit for watching anime and playing video games when they're making wrestling belts for themselves? That's what the fuck? nuts, bro. That's actually insane, dude. Uh, yeah, he made the YouTube belt, right? And he was like, I remember, I forgot what he was saying. He was trying to go at me or someone. I forgot. I, about the YouTube belt. And then Jim Sterling, for some reason, agreed. And then Tonka, who made the YouTube belt, lost to Jim. Like, he lost the own, his own belt in a scripted fight. Like, holy shit. <laughs> How do you lose your own belt? Well, I think what happened was, um, remember AP? Oh, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. AP. So he ended up revealing that Tonka, he had all the evidence and shit too, uh, was a, had three kids from three different baby mamas that he didn't pay child support from. See, I vaguely remember this. Like, um, yeah. Once, once Tonka started coming after me, and then he started coming after you, and the whole fight thing, I, I'm fairly certain I remember it getting out, and maybe not the three kid things, but like that he was rooting his his YouTube through like his grandma or something to hide the money. Yeah. And I always wondered, I always wondered like, if that's true, why is he doing that? Cause I was like, you know, it's kind of weird and stuff. Um, but if he had like a bunch of kids, he owed money to, you know, I could see it like, Oh, so they can't like, you know, try to get child support, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly. And then I guess he had made such enemies with so many people that they were trying to like, I guess, call whoever would handle that shit. So he went into hiding. Probably the smartest idea he did. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Somebody in your chat, uh, the drama was saying, isn't Jim Sterling trans now? Yes. Um, yes, I believe he is. I, I think, like, doesn't Josh cover Jim, like, a lot on his streams? <laughs> I, I think so. I... He's, like, always doing goofy shit now. Like, oh. Sterling's sub counter is. In fact, uh, is that fucking, what was that website that let, you used to, like, um... Social Blade. You... Social Blade, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go see like what Sterling oh, is it's at. Brutal. Me and Ashton covered him probably two or three months ago. Uh, we'll do it every now and then. We'll do it um, a coverage on him. But it's it actually been a while, like probably like, four months actually, to be honest. But um, once in a while, we'll peek in. We did one recently where he was with that guy. What was that? Um... Oh, fuck, fucking that. shit! <laughs> I'm looking at Sterling. This goes all the way back to 2021. He hasn't had one single month where he's gained a sub. Every month since for the last four years, he's losing thousands of subs every month. Oh, my. And oh, and by the way, wait, wait, how many subs does he have right now? Um, He is sitting at, uh, let me see here, 760,000. But I thought he was over a million. Yes, he was. So hear this. This is pretty funny. If you ever want to, like, if you're curious... He's done a like under 1 million subscriber special where all the people are, who are pro trans, who are creators would be like, congrats on under 1 million. Then he made the under 900,000 special. And then he made the under 800,000 special. He might have to make the under 700,000 special. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. It's If you look at a social blade, there's not one oh, month since... Um... It, yeah, I'll pop it March of, for everyone. March of 2021. Look at it's all negative numbers. Let's go to uh, social blade. And his video views have gone from like two and a half million a month to seven hundred thousand a month. Wow! God damn, man. Whoa! Here, here, I'll I'll pop it open for you all. This is actually insane. Yeah, if you look at the bottom, like this zero is the top fucking number. He can't hit zero. Oh. He can't have one month of hitting zero. Oh, oh, yeah, right here. No, no, go down, go down further with the the line chart at the very bottom of the page. No, no, no. Um, yeah, right over it's, here. It's, yeah, it's on a delay there. It should be. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Minus four thousand, minus five thousand, minus six thousand, three thousand, three thousand. Well, it's. Oh my god. No, no, yeah, zero's the top. There hasn't been one month where he's gained anything. And then. So it started all in. Oh my god! There's not even. It's not even on the like fucking list here. Yeah, I know, right? It's just this fucking three solid years of death. Ooh, do you know what's really brutal? I'm gonna show you something here. It's pretty crazy. So his okay, remember he has 760k. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, his last few days, when he doesn't post, 11,000, 9,000, 14. Now, I'm going to do some sh shameless self-promotion here. Keto Casino Clips, right? 4,000 <laughs> subs, okay? Sure. 16,000, 10,000, 11,000.